Y'all think I forgot? My tarot readings, my weekly horoscopes are only meant for people that are smiling. So if you're not smiling right now, honey. <laughs> I love you. Let's go. Hello, my beautiful Cancer. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading, Cancer. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, Cancer, because that is how I keep up with you is through the comments. As well, if you do enjoy this tarot reading or you just enjoy my vibe, Cancer, I'd really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel a lot. And I am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way cancer also remember that i'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you cancer you know your situation better than i ever possibly could so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because i'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever i believe the tarot cards are just here to give you some food for thought perspective for you to consider cancer but never making the choices in your life because it's your life to live darling not mine and not these tarot cards right uh so with all that being said cancer let's just get into your weekly reading your weekly horoscope and and we're going to just start out with a card uh, to see where you guys are currently at. I want to know where my cancers are currently at in their journey right now. And the card comes flying out, darling. Let's go. Seven of Fire or the Seven of Wands, Cancer. This card says defending your beliefs and decisions, standing your ground, and choosing your battles wisely. So, Cancer, you guys are definitely in this place, especially when I... I we, hmm. Cancer, how I like to see this card is like a situation where uh, usually it's an individual who... I like to usually think about this in like a social dynamic, honestly, personally, uh, Cancer. Usually with the Seven of Wands, it's the dealings with other people. It's the situation of where it's like, do you maintain the mindset or approach that you were having with a certain situation? Or do you change up your views? Do you change uh, how you want to handle something, right? So whenever you have the Seven of Wands coming forward in your path like this, it does feel as if right now, Cancer, you're in this place of questioning of like, what is your next move, right? Of where it's like, where should you just put further energy, further energy into a situation, Cancer? And then maybe for others of you, what is it like what you should be letting go of, right? Uh, should you, you know, I do get this sense for some of you cancers, you're in this place of wondering if you should, if you should, my words are slurring together now, darling, uh, if you should go start going to a place of seclusion or not as well is a word I'm uh, hearing. Uh, it does feel as if some of you cancers are starting to shut down as well is something that I, I'm being shown. So I do want to call some of you cancers out. Um, check yourself, right? You know, it happens to all of us, right? So I'm not trying to sit here and act like I'm any better cancer. But if you have been in like a little bit of a depressive route, right? Bout rather, you know, if you've been spiraling a little bit, if you've been having your moment where you've just been having your emotions, cancer, which is understandable, right? We all need those moments. But uh, don't see Sink into that energy for too long, okay? Something I just feel inclined to tell you. Uh, so let's get some more clarifiers for the Seven of Wands, the Seven of Fire. We start out with the Nine of Wands coming into you. Can y'all see my cat? <laughs> we have the Seven of Cups coming in, Cancer. And then we have the Five of Cups coming in here as well. Okay, Cancer, so I see you in this situation with this Nine of Wands here. I always get this sensation of where, Cancer, you're, there's something along in your path that is building character for you. I do get this sense that there's something that uh, your vision was being cleared up now on some type of situation that probably has been in your head for a while, Cancer, right? Some type of situation that you needed to have closure with, I feel. Um, and I say closure with because this Nine of Wands is one of those cards I like to say is like a, a card of like self-discovery. That's how I personally see this relationship with the card is anyways. And with the Seven of Cups here in the reverse, this is showing to me this almost like bittersweet ending that you've had, right? With this Five of Cups, because the Five of Cups is like a situation of where you're looking off into the distance of a situation that you've kind of had to leave and now shifting into a new direction but since with the seven of cups here in the reverse i don't normally with this five of cups 
this is a situation where someone kind of makes the decision cancer where they're just like yeah i know this is for the best the best for me but um in this sense cancer it does feel as if like your your seven of cups in the reverse comes in as a sense of where it's like a choice was like made for you like you didn't really have like like it wasn't how some type of outcome that's happened really wasn't by uh, your choice is something that I'm hearing, Cancer. And so now you're just in this place of being like, well, I guess now where do I go from here, right? So where does Cancer go from here? What's going on with my Cancer a little bit deeper? We have the Death card in the reverse here. Okay, Cancer. And the Ten of Wands in the reverse. So Cancer, are you guys in this place of where you're like now, like not wanting to let go of this situation right you're not wanting to let go of this baggage this stuff that is weighing heavy on you cancer because that's what i'm seeing darling um because this makes more sense now as to why i get you guys in this more reclusive energy because with this death card in the reverse darling i'm going to just hold them to you in the upright so you can see the artwork of them kind of but um yeah with this death card uh, in the uh, inverted position, this is showing to me where you guys don't want to let go of it. Ten of Wands here is showing to me it's like a, it's quite literally like an energy cancer where it's like someone offers to take like some of the uh, load off your back and you're just like, no, no, it's okay, I got it. Like you're willingly um, making the decision, cancer, uh, to uh, deal with this like weight, this heaviness on your own, like even further, right? We have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Oh, this must have been a tough situation for you, Cancer. This really have a, must have been like a situation that you did not want to move on from. This is like a situation that you instill a little bit, you're probably cl clinking on to. I don't know if you guys just associated this to be like a heavy part of your um, journey for your future. But it was oh, like with this Knight of Pentacles in the reverse as well. Like you guys just do not want to transition from this. There's something that you haven't wanted to let go of. Um, so I suck that you guys are like going through this. Yeah. Mm. So what can we expect from this outcome for Cancer? Right. Let's see what kind of outcome we can expect for this situation. We have the uh, King of Pentacles in the reverse. King of Cups in the reverse, Cancer. Five of Wands in the reverse. So, in the name of healing for you, Cancer, you guys have to just let go of a situation entirely. You know, this is like speaking heavily on a situation of, like, when you have both the Kings of Pentacles and uh, the of cups as well this is quite literally like letting go of a situation and almost accepting that like it's almost like cutting off like your emotions to a certain situation permanently knowing that there's never a chance with this anymore and it's an all in the name of healing five of wands being inverted for you guys as well there's a sense of resolving conflict i do feel like it's one of those things uh, cancer, there's some type of situation, some type of relationship, uh, some type of presence in your life that you don't want to move on from um, because you just associated, like, maybe you have, a lot of you cancers have invested a lot of um, energy into a situation and it's just like, uh, am I going to have to like move on from this, you know, remembering from that uh, five of cups cancer. So it does feel as if... Um, yeah, I, I do get this strong sense, Cancer, that you guys are going to have to just accept something for what it is and be like, you know what, this is just like a dead situation to me now, as rough as that sounds, right? Y'all know I have to tell it to you, real Cancer, but I know you can handle it. Death card in the reverse. I know it's going to be hard, though. The King of Swords in the reverse. Cancer, like, this is such a heavy... Si oh, such a heavy situation. This is such a heavy situation of something that you really the death portion with this king of swords is showing to me this is all like a mental thing at this point now cancer um 
in terms of like fully overcoming some type of situation is like now you have to mentally disconnect right it's crazy you literally cancer the only uh king that you're not getting in the reverse so far is the king of wands and we haven't pulled the king of wands yet cancer like y'all you cancers have an extremely strange reading but mm, it's just, just showing to me like such an impact cancer of like whatever situation this is with the seven of wands it just uh, i can just tell like how much of a struggle it is just through these cards alone and bums me out ace of swords i don't feel like you guys are going to be able to um you know i have to give it to you guys as it is cancer i don't feel as if you guys are going to be able to even start thinking of new things into your life right remembering with this five of cups again i'm gonna keep bringing this up cancer with this five of cups i don't even feel like you're going to entertain these cups behind you uh you know which is representing a new pathway for you i don't feel like you're going to even start entertaining it um until you uh come to an end with the situation until you accept the situation for what it is and truly move on and with that king of swords here paired paired nicely under that uh, king of pentacles and king of cups it's showing to me that part of the reason why like your emotional like i don't know it does just feel as if cancer there's this small part of you mentally that is still clinging on to a what if on a situation and because of that there's like emotions that you have attached to a situation that you've invested a bunch of energy into that perhaps you don't want to let go of um you know but i know you guys are gonna overcome it cancer it's just one of those things like you guys just being your zodiac sign right you guys cannot apologize for feeling your feelings to a very intense level right Cancers don't take anything lightly. You guys take things very seriously right off the bat. And if you're going to commit to something, it's very much so like it's you guys have the best concept in terms of emotional investment um, in investing in connections and situations the most. Like you guys have the most serious approach to it, Cancer. So it's almost natural for us to see this to be like the grieving process for you. <sighs> but enough of this heaviness, Cancer, don't you think? Uh, let's start getting into uh, some of the good things coming to you guys this week. What is isn't some of the good stuff in the works for y'all? Let's see what's going on for you, Cancer. What is some of the good stuff? No, no, no we don't want to draw those. I want to see what is the good stuff coming to you, Cancer, but the cards are just trying to be a little bit tricky, darling. So we have uh, two of air, four of air, Cancer. This, these cards say being unable or unwilling to make a decision uh, or a stalemate, pretending there isn't a problem. Cancer, come on now. Uh, four of air, time to take a rest or vacation, allowing more time before making a decision. Meditation may provide the answers. So let's get a little bit more insight with some Oracle cards, Cancer on the situation right the good things to come this is associating like right off the bat i know this is talking about you guys finally getting closure with this situation surrendering to the divine you guys are really being pushed cancer into a spiritual path going into a spiritual pursuit i don't know can uh cancers right now for my spiritual ones uh if you guys have been considering like engaging into like a new deity uh, involving yourself into a new spiritual practice um this is definitely a week that i feel like this is like a sign for some of y'all cancers that are interested in dabbling into just some type of new spiritual sense um whatever that looks like to you um take this as a sign to really go after that we have the brown bear spirit take time out absolutely you keep on getting cards cancer now that's asking you to just disconnect from everything uh we have the skunk spirit coming in as know your worth i also want to point out the new uh, numerology nine for these cards nine for this one for 54 equaling to nine as well as the bear spirit equaling to nine even if we were to combine these numbers cancer it would equal 18 equaling to nine so nine is definitely your number this week write that down i feel like almost you guys had this number uh last week or some other zodiac 
side. I have the number nine for you guys as well. So it's interesting in that way. Uh, so definitely cancer, look into that. If you, for my, I feel like this is more so like a spirit, spiritual message um, for very specific cancers that it's just more spiritually involved. Um, in order to help perhaps with the grieving processes connecting with spirit in some way. Uh, there's some type of calling, very strong calling for us in Cancers though, for sure. Um, so definitely let me know how that situation pans out uh, for you guys, Cancer. So now actually, let's get into my Cancers uh, financial and relation, or not financial, uh, my Cancers romantic and just relationship situations this week, you know, because more than just romantic uh, relationships though, Cancer, remember, we have uh, platonic relationships, we have friendships, right? We have work relationships, just all sorts of social relationships, right, darling? Let's see what's going on there this week for you guys. I was suspicion this is where it's going to heavily start reflecting into the general portion portion of your reading, Cancer. Two of Earth or the Two of Pentacles, Cancer. So this card says too much going on at once, the need to make a decision, consider a, care, a more playful approach. Cancer, so this is one of those things I know it's going to be probably annoying to hear, Cancer, is where y'all are going to need to be told that, you know what, let's change up decks. Um, y'all are going to be really needing to like commit to a decision even compared to with the two of swords coming in for you from before with the good things that were happening to you cancer um this is almost like you know like your life doesn't continue until you start taking action um you kind of have to commit to a path cancer and i feel like that was part of your message from even last week uh the lover's card coming in for you guys in the upright yeah you guys need to have some closure in the situation four of pentacles who are you guys interested in investing your pentacles into? Weighing it out. Seven of pentacles coming in here. Cancer. You're having such a hard dynamic letting go of in terms of situation because of the pentacles you invested into a situation. Huh? Nine of wands. But this is like the main part of your storyline. This is like part of your um lesson here. Cancer. And that this is like the strongest this is such a sh the strongest like resistance for you eight of wands you have to look this is yeah i don't feel like cancer until you get closure into the situation here in terms of some old connection here right and getting your closure and where it's almost just like i don't want to say that the existence with this person didn't happen um but there is just a very strong like let go message coming into these cards letting go because it's like there's so many other people knocking at your door i feel like and we are trying to bring forward to knocking to your door cancer but it's almost like because of the strong resistance to uh even acknowledge that door because you're just so focused on an old situation cancer and um i do feel like it's just more so mentally distracting even i don't feel like there's communication truly um with this person just because it does seem to be like all just like a mental thing for you guys now cancer where it's just like uh i invested so much energy into the situation it just feels like such a waste right as i feel like what some of you guys are saying so uh let's see now my beautiful cancers what is going on for y'all's career and financial situation this week what is going on right there for cancers let's see we have the Eight of Wands coming back in for you, or the Eight of Fire, Cancer. This card says, events moving at a fast pace, delays are over, many things are happening at once. So this is a good card. This is a card that we want to see, Cancer, um, when it comes to your financial situation, right? Things are in motion now. So if you guys have been experiencing a block of some sort, Cancer, uh, this is definitely foreshadowing a pretty good sign for you guys that I uh, expect change to happen. Uh, if you guys have been a Cancer investing energy into trying to switch things up in some way, start expecting to see some breadcrumb like the start seeing signs of this right three cards that popped out for you guys we have the ten of wands coming in here this is something that you've put a lot of energy already into cancer for sure uh the knight of cups definitely something being presented something um being offered to you uh queen of swords coming in here Whew, i want to pull a couple more cards actually four of pentacles coming in here and the king of swords cancer i see an opportunity coming towards you potentially of where you could pick up for a way to get more money 
coming in. But the biggest thing is going to be what's going on mentally for you. If you feel, you know, very much so I see this situation here. It's like this cup, this Knight of Cups offering something to you, Cancer, right? But then like what is like this heavy baggage coming in for you is this Ten of Wands, Queen of Swords, and then the King of Swords in the reverse for you where it's just like... The stuff that you want to invest your pentacles into as the four of pentacles, you can't because the baggage that you weigh is just this extremely guarded, insecure energy. And <laughs> I have to tell it like it is, Cancer, right? Um, so if an opportunity presents itself, Cancer, take yourself, take up on the opportunity, you know. And I do see things coming. Remember, this is with the eight of wands energy, right? Where it's just like many things happening at once and delays are over. Now that these delays are over, Cancer, you have to start taking things more seriously you know right naturally but uh i know you guys are going to be up for the task you guys are going to handle it you guys are going to thrive cancer you guys have just needed to have like a little bit of moment right with some type of situation and you know you guys you cancers are just being your zodiac sign being cancers who just care a lot right nothing wrong with that Zoe. but um that is the reading that i have for you cancers this week i hope you enjoyed this weekly tarot horoscope reading if you did, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, uh, Cancer. Also, um, I do weekly tarot readings for all the zodiac signs, not just Cancers. So send this video to a friend if you think they'll be interested in my tarot messages. Also, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, Cancer, I have all my uh, I have my website down below. It's just simplyvalka.com. My social medias are all simplyvalka. Uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, everything, darling, is just simplyvalka. And I hope I can connect with you sometime in the near uh, future, Cancer. I love you so much.